Hello and welcome to another episode of Garage Stories. Second. Today we are in a different room of Alibaba's cave. It is a tire storage and normally we are going to talk about tires today. So, uh, when we are talking about tires, especially we are talking about adventure tires, off-road tires and the setup you are going to use for uh, your adventure bike. What tires do I use on Tenere 700? Uh, which tire I advise for usage and what is going to be the best 50-50 tire, best off-road tire and best on-road tire according to my humble opinion. So, uh, as you can see here, these are all used tires of my, my friends and um, I will start from the factory settings of Tenere 700. So the first tire I was using when I was uh, when I bought the bike was the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR. So this is the the tire. As you can see, I I think I'm going to break something here, but never mind. So this is the tire. The setup is very much uh, street oriented with some off-road look. It can work off-road, but it will not bring any performance. And why is that? The compound of the tire is a high silica compound. It is very good for rain. It is very good for uh, uh, tarmac asphalt. Uh, you can uh, tilt the tire very much uh, when you're riding and you will not lose any performance when you're riding on the road. When you get off the road, this additional rubber will not have any grip basically maybe a little bit on basic gravel roads after that anything more serious like mud and sand and that kind of stuff uh, you will feel very insecure because the tire will constantly slip and that's it that is why i changed it immediately after i spend it of course the 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 front tire all the same it looks like off-road, here it is, it looks like off-road tire, but it is not for uh, off-road usage. A lot of rubber, not a little, not a lot of lug space here, and basically uh, there is nothing to grab on earth. It is excellent for, for road use, for street use, it is very good. Uh, when you are traveling, the life of the tire is nice. 5,000, 6,000 kilometers you can get out of this set and it will be good for you. Um, anything more aggressive or when you become more serious in off-road riding, if you want to do the test riding or any adventure travel or just going somewhere on, a, on a, some random track and doing whatever you want to do, uh, it will not work and immediately after you decide to shift from stock tires the search begins what is the unicorn tire and uh, in the last video I said okay we will talk about tires you always get something and lose something the decision is basically okay the tarmac riding is not that important for me uh, where I enjoy my riding is off-road and that is where I am aiming at. But I don't want to lose the travel speed. I don't want to, to lose the highway performance. Uh, maybe I don't want to um, do some uh, bending of the motorcycle. Maybe I don't want to go to some mountain and chase some special mountain road where I will get the peak performance in bends. Okay, then you are searching for something in the 50-50 section. You want the tire which will last, you want the tire which will work off-road, and you want the tire which will be basically all-rounder. Uh, in my opinion, all-rounder rounder doesn't exist. Um, I tested also the uh, Dunlop uh, mission. Uh, 
I will just show the, 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 the rear tire and if I can get it out of here. It is, it's very, first of all, it's very weighty tire. Here it is. And you can see after the initial break-in of the tire, maybe three or 4,000 kilometers, you will lose the central lugs and it will come to a central strip, meaning that in the middle of the tire, you don't have any grip of road. Now, the tire is very directional. It will not be slipping uh, like Pirelli, meaning that when you get into the mud, uh, the tire will go left or right. The tire will go straight, but in a spot it will slide, it will not have grip to push you forward. And um, it's a good tire, but under my opinion, nothing special. Uh, I know that many have been praising this tire to be a unicorn tire. Yes, it will as this tire probably has another five or 6,000 kilometers in its life, but uh, simply I didn't like it. If you want to buy it, it is, it is here in Belgrade as a used one. Um, but generally I was not very happy with it because it wasn't that good on road as a Pirelli. It wasn't that good off road. Uh, so it's not a good all rounder. It's a tire for nothing. That is, that is my opinion. It's, it doesn't excel in anything. It is not special. It is just, you know, I know when they were probably when they were developing, they wanted a tire which will work in all conditions. This tire doesn't work in any of the conditions. It is not good on wet pavement. It is not good on dry pavement. It is uh, uh, it, it doesn't provide any special grip in bends. It is not a dual compound tire. So in the middle it is strong. On the on the sides it is more soft. So you can. Uh, do the, the, the tight bends uh, in high speeds. You will not be able to do that with this tire. You will feel the slipping. And uh, the only thing I think all of the Dunlop tires does, they uh, uh, give you some pre-emergency uh, feeling that, okay, this is the end of the tire. For Pirelli, Pirelli is proper radial tire and it will hold, hold, hold until it slips. So you will not have that uh, feeling that, okay, this is the end of the tire. I, I cannot do much more. So with Dunlop Trail Max Mission, I wasn't that very happy. And I don't think it is a special tire. It's 80-20 tire. It's in a rank with uh, Michelin Anaki Adventure and that's it. And even worse. I think that Michelin Anaki Adventure is more street oriented tire, much better on tarmac, definitely doesn't work on any off-road, that's it. Now, when we go to extremes and uh, at the moment, okay, you said enough with the tarmac riding, enough with everything, now I want to do serious off-roading, there is a tire which will provide you with fantastic grip. It is capable of high speeds off-road and that is Dunlop Rally Raid. It is a fantastic tire. I love it. I was very happy with it. I changed it because I went on a long travel and this is not a tire for... It still has life this is after 3000 kilometers. Uh, fantastic grip on uh, dirt, fantastic grip on dirt roads. Uh, very good grip in, in muddy conditions, uh, capable of high speeds. Uh, uh, in off-road, it even holds a bike. If you tilt the bike, it is, uh, it does its job. It is a rally tire. It is the size for adventure rides, so Rally Raid D908. Extremely happy with it. What means where this tire excels? What are the how? What are the uh, 
uh, what is the behavior of this tire and what can I additionally add to it. Um, I tested the set. Uh, I tested this tire with combination with TKC80. I tested it with, uh, uh, I didn't test it with Dunlop 606 front, which I will do probably in the near future. And uh, what do I think about the overall performance? So the first of all is that the tire is okay on the street. It works. The maximum speed of the tire, which, which I tested, is around 190 kilometers per hour. Uh, without wobbling, uh, talking about the rear one. The front tire, this is the front tire, uh, it's a proper MX tire. This is not an adventure tire and this is my opinion about it. Very small lugs, amazing performer off-road. You wouldn't believe how good this tire holds off-road. You will have a feeling that you're on the street. That, that, that was my feeling. Um, we had a group ride and there was uh, it, mud. There was, uh, I think you can find the video on the YouTube channel. It was when we rode uh, this uh, Malian trail and there was snow and so on. Um, it was in mud conditions, the front end was stable. And this is what uh, gives you this confidence you know you don't want the front end to slip below you 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 want to feel uh, that you can go through and uh, with with this tire i had this feeling also uh, gravel roads uh, fresh gravel deep gravel sand uh, yes i was using the set also you can find that video as well on the channel uh delibloska peshara right together with a small bike, it was KTM 250, you will find the video somewhere. Uh, and uh, you will see that the bike was, you know, it was deep, loose sand, the bike was excelling. Sometime I was even faster than a small enduro, hard enduro bike. It was, and it is about the tires, it is about the feeling, how these tires handle uh, big adventure bikes. So definitely, the sidewall is stiff. If you have a flat, the, the tire will hold until you find a normal stop to fix your inner tube. These are tube type tires. They are not tubeless, so they must be used with a tube and uh, very happy with it. Where I wasn't happy with the front tire was on tarmac. A lot of wobble, a lot of uh, vibrations coming from it. It's not a pleasant tire that you will ride on tarmac and also uh, you will wear it very fast if you ride on tarmac mainly and because I'm using my bike also for commuting and going to work and on the weekends I'm using the same bike to go and ride some adventure trails. It is, um, I need a different setup so I don't have to change the tires every weekend. So then I tested the rear 708, 908 Rally Raid and TKC80 on the front. Uh, it was a good setup. I still had this basic um, stability, off-road stability feeling and speed from the rear tire. The front TKC80 was okay-ish. It's a perfect middle. Again, a uh, very good tire higher higher commuting speeds on tarmac higher uh, speeds on highways uh, but generally uh, i used the complete tkc80 set when i rode the tet route in montenegro albania and greece and that is when this tire this tire front one failed on me and uh, about the rear one i have nothing special to say TKC80 rear tire, uh, it's a perfect 50-50, uh, which will wobble on higher speeds until you spend the tire. When you spend the tire, it will give some stability on tarmac, but that's it. After several hundred kilometers, you need to change it. And here it is. So let me show you this one. Here it is. Okay. So, 
Yeah, something will collapse here. Never mind. So this is the tire. And you see it's it's done. Nothing is left here. We're we almost reached the controlling segment of the tire and uh, basically no more off-road grip. That is why we are using this tire. We want off-road grip, uh, big square lugs uh, and uh, if you're riding a very strong adventure bike, you can think that you're buying the set for 2000 kilometers. It doesn't make sense. And then, of course, I didn't want it to return immediately to the Dunlop. Uh, I'm saving it for maybe autumn rides and, and so on. And I wanted to test something else. So I tested me after. Yeah, on the road, I was using Mita CO7, which I changed in Podgorica. And I have the rear one here. Also the front one. It's a excellent EO7 Plus, excellent tarmac tire. Uh, it works well in all conditions. Uh, it's a very stiff tire as well with not very stiff, uh, uh, very big lugs, which means that it will slip in a rocky terrain, which means that it will slip in mud, but nothing you can't handle. The only thing which you shouldn't be expecting of this tire is that, okay, it will excel. It is very stable in high speeds. You can do, uh, uh, highway runs on this tire in, and it, it will work fine it will not lose stability especially during the summer period in high temperatures because it is a very strong tire uh, very uh, stiff compound this tire will grab in summer on tarmac on dry roads on gravel roads it will work fine i'm happy i was happy with it i spent it it worked very well for almost 7,000 kilometers and I was giving really my best to spend it as fast as I can. So amazing tire, really. And uh, I wouldn't go back to it. It was good. I was happy with it. But again, tire which is not excelling in off-road or on-road. It is, but EO7 Plus is really the perfect middle. If you are searching for all-rounder, I do still believe that EO7 is the perfect 50-50 tire. But then, because I was so happy with EO7, I decided to go a little bit more aggressive. With the same index of speed, it was uh, Mita's E10 Dakar version. So, and I was very much disappointed. The lifespan of a tire is again the same as TKC80, around 2000 3000 kilometers, no more. The off road performance is perfect when the tire is new, immediately when you start spending the tire, or you're riding more aggressively off road, or you're in some rocky terrain. Uh, something I haven't faced before. The, the lugs will start breaking. And uh, here is the tire. Tire is devastated. And you can see all over the tire we have this very noticeable destruction. Again, the, the very life and the, the, the design of the lugs is very similar to TKC. But again, uh, the difference is, uh, what is very interesting, TKC 80 is a more comfortable tire. It is a softer compound. And um, when you're riding on road or off road, it will uh, go together with the terrain. You, yes, you will spend it. Yes, it is not fantastic in mud, but it will be at least uh, comfortable for riding. When we speak about E10, it is so stiff 
that you will feel every small rock. It will like you're riding on, on, on wood, not on, 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 on rubber. Yes, you can decrease the pressure, but you need to decrease the pressure in a rear tire extremely. And uh, then you will shorten the lifespan of the tire even more. You will gain 10 or 15% more performance in off-road, but that's it. I wasn't that fascinated with E10, to be honest. But I was still searching for that unicorn tire. And then I tried Turkish Anlas Capra X. I don't have a used one here because it is still on my motorcycle. Uh, at the moment there is around uh, 4000 kilometers on the tires. It is a long lasting tire. It is a tire which will give you an excellent performance in uh, off-road conditions and a very good performance on tarmac. So at the moment, still, uh, if we speak about off-road performance, Dunlop 908, it's, it's an off-road excelling tire. When we speak about 50-50 tires, definitely, Unless Caprex. It is in a competition with E10s, with EKC80s, with these big block tires. It is a proper 50 50 tire with very good tarmac experience, with okay performance on wet roads, uh, with uh, good grip on um, different types of dry trails and I didn't test it in muddy conditions, so I cannot say it's, it's stable or not stable. I had a very short muddy trails recently, uh, it went in and it went out. So it is going through puddles, it is going through, through sections of mud, constant mud riding and uh, how the lugs are handling the self-cleaning from mud, I don't have that that experience yet but uh, I do believe it is in a uh, it will handle it it will not handle it with performance but it will handle it now again it is uh, important for you to decide what you want to do with tires and for what are you buying the tires if you're going on some longer trip which will definitely include a longer tarmac ride until you reach certain trail then doing that trail and then going back on tarmac your decision must be how i want to ride in different conditions if i'm going to uh, avoid highways take a slower route on tarmac i don't care how long i take to reach somewhere and then to have a proper performance off-road I think Dunlop 908 will be a fantastic tire. For the front, uh, I wouldn't advise the usage of the TKC80. I know it is all over the internet that the good combo is Dunlop 908 uh, rear tire, TKC80 on the front. Uh, I wasn't, you know, it didn't blow my mind and uh, the performance was average. If I'm looking at the off-road performance, I will look into the off-road performance and that's it. Uh, I think that the proper combo should be 908 on the rear and Dunlop 606 on the front. I have the new 606 here and I'm waiting to completely finish the unless set when I will test this combination. Basically, I think that it will get a little bit of on-road performance just so you can have a average commuting speeds and that you can excel off-road. Uh, any other combination of tires like uh, uh, Heidenau K60 Scout or something like that. I believe this is all in all. Uh, you get 10% there, you lose 10% here. It is uh, 
the, the differences are uh, minimal and uh, the everything started with basic if you remember it was the old Pirelli Scorpion Rally uh, this is the basic adventure tire I am very sad I cannot find this tire anymore anywhere for uh, uh, for the Tenera, this is the 17 size and uh, you see how big the lugs are and uh, this was these types of tire or Met Cellar Extreme or that that kind of tires this is when it all started I think the the, the next development in tires in off-road performers came with Dunlop and this tire can handle uh, b uh, bikes which are 200 kilos around 200 kilos and can work off-road now again it is important for you to decide okay this is where I want to perform I, I don't care about uh, bends I don't care about uh, 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 doing a high speed uh, mileage uh, long runs on my motorcycle I want to do uh, high speed off-roads and then yes you have the set of tires for that rally tires uh, uh, proper performance off-road even mx tires it is all up to your choice and what do you want to do you will never win it all and uh, i think i tested enough tires to to make this comparison and to say this is what i think and this is the truth behind the 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 the, the, the promotion and you know some tires are promoted as an all-rounder they're simply not uh, some tires are uh, promoted as uh, off-road tires and if you don't see it with your naked eye and logic yes an off-road tire must have a lot of space uh, uh, between the lugs an off-road tire mm, must clean itself from mud from uh, gravel from uh, everything you will find uh, when you step aside from tarmac if you're looking for tarmac tire if you're searching for a tire with a lot of rubber with uh, no blocks or very small blocks or uh, something which is uh, which is having the higher uh, touch base with the tarmac and that's it and so the off-road tires are made for slipping grab slip grab slip where you get the 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 the, the um, directional use of the tire and it should work together with the earth below you and uh, the 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 tarmac tires are flat tires which are grabbing together with the flat tarmac that's it it's simple logic and together with with that logic then you can decide uh, uh, what i shouldn't advise I wasn't I really wasn't happy with Mita C10 uh, it's a it's a, not a good tire it doesn't last long it doesn't excel and it breaks this is the, the, the I haven't seen this before that the the lugs will break break off I am aggressive rider off-road but not that aggressive uh, I'm an average Joe in adventure riding, so this shouldn't be happening. It didn't happen with Anlas, it didn't happen with EKC, it didn't happen with Pirelli or any other tires I, I used. So, you know, probably there is a production issue with, with, with this tire. Um, basically, uh, this would be it from this video. I don't want to, to spread this story more. Maybe... Um, think into direction if you only ride off-road or the off-road riding is your uh, maybe to test is Mitas E09 as a cheaper variation of the Dunlop 908 because the tire is expensive um, also with the front one it can be Mitas E13 Rally Rally Star and uh, these are the, the good variations for 
I would go with the rear one to be Dakar, with the front one to be Rally Star. It will be a good combination for uh, 70-80%, even 90% off-road riding, 10% tarmac. Do not expect from any of these off-road tires that it will last long. It doesn't have a lot of rubber. The rubber which is uh, uh, created for these tires usually is very soft because it must grab in loose terrains. And the uh, relation between the rubber in the blocks and rubber in the sidewall is uh, a different. So do not look at it, okay, this tire has a strong sidewall, it will last long. It, it's not connected, one to each other is not connected and I'm telling this from my experience because the sidewall on Mita C10 is cement basically. It, it doesn't have any movement but the tire lasted 2000 kilometers. Uh, when we speak about uh, Dunlop, again the sidewall is strong but the lugs are the lugs are, are grabbing very nicely on, on in off-road terrain. If they were that that stiff, that strong, this grab you would be having in off-road wouldn't be good because the tire must move in some direction together with the terrain. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's it from, from this episode of the Garage Stories. I hope you liked it. If you would like to see some testing of the tires and maybe to move this channel in that direction or to have more of these kind of videos where I will be fitting the, each of these set, the new one on the, on the Tenere and uh, filming the testing of the tire, uh, showing the uh, performance of the tire in different terrains, please comment down below. If you like what you see, subscribe, like the video and see you soon. Bye!